using reverse psychology the right way to address behavior in women. In today's complex social landscape, understanding human behavior is crucial, especially when it comes to addressing the nuances of women's actions and reactions. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into thought-provoking topics with a fresh perspective. Today we're diving deep into the fascinating realm of reverse psychology and its application in navigating the intricacies of women's behavior. Join us as we explore how employing this innovative approach can lead to more effective communication, healthier relationships, and a deeper understanding of the female psyche. So grab your seat and get ready to uncover the secrets of using reverse psychology the right way to address behavior in women. Introduction to Reverse Psychology Reverse psychology is a fascinating and often misunderstood psychological tool that involves encouraging someone to do something by suggesting they do the opposite. This technique leverages the human tendency to resist directives and assert autonomy, thus leading individuals to choose the option that was indirectly desired. Used correctly, reverse psychology can be a powerful method in influencing behavior, particularly in interpersonal relationships and everyday situations. Consider a simple example a parent who wants their child to eat vegetables might say, I bet you can't finish all your broccoli the challenge tends to provoke a desire in the child to prove the parent wrong, resulting in the child eating the broccoli. Similarly, in a social context, suggesting that someone might not enjoy a certain activity can lead them to try it just to prove otherwise. Understanding Human Behavior and Motivation Human behavior and motivation are complex constructs influenced by various psychological factors. At its core, behavior is driven by a combination of intrinsic and extrinsic motivations. Intrinsic motivation refers to engaging in a behavior because it is inherently rewarding, while extrinsic motivation involves performing an action to achieve an external reward or avoid punishment. Intrinsic motivation is an internal form of motivation. For instance, an individual might pursue a hobby like painting because it provides personal satisfaction and joy. This type of motivation is crucial for sustained engagement in activities, as it is self-reinforcing. Extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, is driven by external factors. Examples include working to earn a salary or studying to receive good grades. While extrinsic motivators can be effective, they may not always lead to long-term commitment if the external rewards are removed. When and why to use reverse psychology. Reverse psychology can be a powerful tool when used judiciously and with an understanding of the specific context and personality involved. In relationships, reverse psychology can be beneficial to address behaviors that are resistant to direct persuasion. For instance, in a romantic relationship, it might be effective when one partner is indecisive or reluctant to engage in certain activities. Suggesting the opposite of what you desire can sometimes lead the indecisive partner to choose the desired action on their own, fostering a sense of autonomy and reducing potential conflict. In parenting, reverse psychology can be particularly useful in managing children's behavior. Young children often exhibit oppositional behavior as a way to assert independence. By subtly suggesting the opposite of what you want them to do, parents can encourage children to children to choose the desired behavior. For example, telling a child that they probably won't like a new vegetable might pique their curiosity and lead them to try it. However, it is crucial to use this technique sparingly and with sensitivity to avoid undermining trust or creating manipulative dynamics. The effectiveness of reverse psychology hinges on a deep understanding of the individual's personality and the context of the situation. It should be employed with caution and empathy to avoid causing harm or fostering resentment. Recognizing when it is appropriate to use this technique and ensuring it aligns with the individual's motivations and preferences is key to its success. In essence, reverse psychology should be a tool of last resort, used only when other, more direct methods have proven ineffective. Techniques of Reverse Psychology Reverse psychology is a sophisticated strategy of influencing behavior by suggesting the opposite of the desired outcome. Understanding its nuances and applying it thoughtfully can yield significant results. Here, we explore some effective techniques such as strategic nonchalance, playing hard to get, and the reverse dare. Strategic nonchalance involves feigning indifference towards a particular behavior or, or outcome. For instance, if you want someone to clean up their space, instead of directly asking them to do so, 
you might say, it doesn't really bother me if you leave your things around. This often triggers a response where the individual feels compelled to prove they are responsible, thus taking the desired action. When using the reverse dare, it's crucial to know the individual's capabilities and confidence level. The challenge should be realistic yet stimulating, so it encourages action without causing undue pressure or frustration. Incorporating these reverse psychology techniques effectively requires understanding the underlying psychological triggers and the context within which they are applied. When done correctly, these methods can subtly guide behavior and lead to positive outcomes ethical considerations, and potential risks. Reverse psychology, a technique involving advocating for a behavior opposite to the desired outcome, is often employed to influence decision-making. While it can be effective, the ethical considerations and potential risks associated with its use, especially in addressing behavior in women, must be carefully assessed. The ethical dimensions of employing reverse psychology center on the intentions behind its use and the impact it may have on trust and relationships. In conclusion, while reverse psychology can be a powerful tool, its ethical implications and potential risks must be carefully weighed. Ensuring that the approach is used ethically, with the right intentions, and in a manner that promotes positive behavior rather than manipulation is vital for maintaining trust and fostering healthy, respectful relationships. Case studies and real-life examples. Reverse psychology, when applied correctly, can yield significant positive outcomes in various situations. To illustrate its effectiveness, we will look at a few real-life examples where individuals have successfully employed these techniques. By analyzing what worked and what didn't, we can glean valuable insights into the appropriate use of reverse psychology with women. One compelling case comes from a relationship counselor who recounted the story of a couple struggling with communication issues. The counselor suggested that the husband use reverse psychology to encourage his wife to express her feelings. Instead of repeatedly asking her to open up, he nonchalantly mentioned that he understood if she needed time and that he respected her silence. This approach took the pressure off, and within a few days, the wife felt more comfortable sharing her thoughts, leading to improved communication between them. The key takeaway here is that creating a non-pressurized environment can foster openness and trust. Tips for Effective Communication Effective communication is key when employing reverse psychology, particularly to ensure that the interaction remains constructive and supportive, rather than coercive or manipulative. To begin with, tone is a critical aspect. The tone should be calm, neutral, and non-confrontational. A harsh or aggressive tone can easily be misinterpreted and lead to resistance or conflict. It is beneficial to maintain a tone that conveys understanding and empathy fostering a sense of trust and openness. Timing is an essential element in effective communication. Choose moments when the individual is likely to be receptive to the conversation. Avoid times of high stress or distraction, as these can lead to miscommunication or heightened emotions. Opt for a setting that is comfortable and private, where the individual feels at ease and safe to express their thoughts and feelings. Conclusion and final thoughts. Throughout this blog post, we have delved into the intricacies of using reverse psychology as a method to address behavior in women. We have explored how this psychological tactic, when applied correctly, can positively influence behavior. The key takeaway is that reverse psychology should be utilized ethically and thoughtfully, ensuring that it serves to support and motivate rather than to manipulate or punish. In summary, reverse psychology is a powerful tool that, when used correctly, can effectively address behavior. It is essential to approach this method with integrity, aiming to support and uplift, rather than to exert undue influence. By reflecting on our intentions and employing this technique ethically, we can create an environment that fosters positive change and mutual respect. Thanks for tuning in to today's exploration of using reverse psychology to understand and address women's behavior. We hope this discussion has provided you with valuable insights and tools to enhance your relationships and communication skills. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Remember, understanding and respecting each other's perspectives is key to fostering meaningful connections. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep using reverse psychology the right way.